many decks from Microsoft and since Stonechain, we actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. Alright, so with the implementation of e-invoice, there are actually multiple components that we should take note of. Alright, so apart from obtaining your customer database, you also need to make sure that your store items is updated and also what are the different changes we have in the um, e-invoice guideline. Alright, so in this video, we will actually going to be looking at some of the changes that was announced together with the relaxation guideline. So during this relaxation period, companies will be able to generate a consolidated e-invoice for all sales transactions during that period. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your relaxation period has been set up properly. You can come here to tools, come here to options, all right, go to country and taxes, come here to e-invoice. So you can see this is your enable e-invoice and then we can also take this to allow to create consolidated e-invoice and until what date range, all right? So once it's done, you can press OK and we can start creating our invoice. So let's say we come here to invoice. All right, so let's say we create a new invoice, say ABC. We press plus, we select our item code, say testing item. We can put out the price, 2345. And then what happens is if we can come here to edit, straight away the system will say submit e invoice and be submitted based on a consolidated because we have already set up the settings in the options aside. Okay, so once you're done, we press approve. All right, so when we come to our invoice here, right, you will see that the invoice that I recently created here. There's no e-invoice status means uh, the system is not generating or uh, validating your e-invoice. Okay, so how can we do a consolidated e-invoice? We can come here to e-invoice. Okay, so here we have things thing called consolidated e-invoice. Okay, so once we want to create, we can actually press new. So we can actually select a date range. So let's say we start from 1st of September up the way to today's date, 23rd of September. We can even choose, I want to include debit notes and credit notes as well if that is. So what we do is we just press generate. The system will then calculate based on the invoice source. There's a total of 4468. And then if I want, I press save. Okay. So in this example, I don't have any credit notes. I don't have debit notes. All right. So once I done, I press save. The system will show my invoice status is pending. If I press refresh, the system will generate show as submitted. Press refresh it should then show me until it is validated okay so of course this uh, validation will be depending on how uh, packed or how fast e-invoice servers are running okay so this is actually how autocom will cater for these new changes of the implementation of e-invoice do leave in the comments below if you have any further questions or would like us to create any new guides all right thank you